La la la, la la la. It's another lovely day on planet Earth, and I'm just chillaxing with my two friends. Hi, everybody. Meet Mad Notes. Hey, bro. How you doing? And fucking oh. Hello everybody. La 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 la. Hey, guess what? What? I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to fucking no. Oh, sorry guys. What's happening? I think we're on film now. I know that already. Look, it's just a camera. Well, hey, uh, what happened to your arm, bro? You are an amputee. Look, I'm not interested in talking about this, guys, 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 listen, okay? Behave. I need you two to behave. It's very important. The thing looks very good. Very, very good today. La la la, another day on planet Earth. Fuck you, fuck you. Yeah, leave me alone. Fuck you. Guys, stop it. Right now. Before I have to <sighs> discipline you. Turn around. <sighs> oh, oh my god. Oh my god. That's what all that itching was about. What's going on? What are those over there? Guys, I think I've got cramps. Oh my god. I've got cramps. You've got cramps! You've got cramps! You have got cramps. <laughs> You two, I've had enough of you now. You know what's going on. Right, I'm gonna chop off your little willy fucking knife. Watch yourself, and as for you, you're gonna get a good old knock on the head when it's goddamn time. Okay? Enough is enough. I am going snorkeling. Eureka! Oh shit. Oh no. What's going on? Oh crikey! I got the dial! Crikey! Keep away! Keep away from me! Keep away! I killed a crocodile. Who said I wasn't a hero? Well, Eureka! It just got revealed unto me, out of nowhere, if I look to a chalice, I will find myself a crumpled up piece of paper. This crumpled up piece of paper has some questions on it. Just happens to be 20 questions. What do these questions say? <laughs> okay. What were the circumstances, general or specific, surrounding a physical birth and infancy, vernacular or spectacular? Well, in short, my understanding from the little that my parents have told me, I come from a very close family. Not close, close minded as well. And even simple things like the time I was born has been kept away from me for so long, was that I was born with asthma complications. As a result of these asthma complications, I was hospitalized or quite sickly um, from birth to early infancy. Ironically, in a certain dream involving the God character, um, 
the bearer of the golden keys of knowledge, wisdom and spiritual insights, I was informed that whenever a person approaches physical death, they also approach or are closer to the spirit, spirit world, so to speak. So, let's just say that from my infancy, I was hastily projecting into the transcendental other worlds. I'm not quite, let's say, I, I don't, I'm, I have no longer have asthma complications. And for the best part, I am quite a fit, strapping young lad. Question two. Any recurring dreams or nightmares that you recall or still recall? Well, dreams, visions and intuitions are the seer's uncommon lot. So yes, I do have a lot of dreams, visions and intuitions. But recurring, well, probably too many to say. Most of which have been tabulated or written in some shape or form. But regarding childhood, one dream stands out more so, which is always a dream that involved the world ending and other members of my family ascending to heaven and me being left in... Sorry, this... Hey, guys, I'm just sick and tired of you two tickling my feet, okay? Stop tickling my feet. I'm busy trying to do something here. Sorry. Now, so yes, as I was saying, it's always quite a horrifying dream for me um, because of my fundamentalist or fundamentally fear-ridden Christian Upbringing crocodile. Okay. What are some of the nicknames you've been referred to as? Well, when I was uh, in primary school in Ghana, I was known as Thread because I was very thin as Trip Thread. That's what my best friend Patrick called me. When I came to the Western world, namely New Zealand, I, or rather in Australia, I went swimming for the first time and I revealed my somewhat outie of a belly button and I instantly was called Double Dick. After Double Dick, I graduated to Caprica after I was on a wheat based commercial. The Kenyan runner, Caprica, he's got one and a half seconds on you involving Peter Snell. I've tried to locate this ad but I still can't. After that, I've been known by other names such as Crazy Man, some Brazilian flatmates. I've been called the Black Stallion or Chevalier Negra. I've been called the Eclectic Mastermind, which was quite a lovely one. Hmm, I'm sure I've been called other nicknames here and there. And as they come to mind, I'll probably share them. Did you invent something or an ingenious way of doing something in your childhood or adulthood? Well, I was always quite an inventive young child. I remember um, inventing games um, for me and my brothers to play. Um, I remember inventing scenarios and worlds for ads to live in. And I was not the most just of rulers sometimes, it's hard to explain, but I'd basically get a large piece of paper draw all sorts of landscapes on it and capture an ant, kidnap an ant or a couple and should the ant go to a certain part of the landscape they would be faced with different kinds of obstacles and sometimes even death but freedom as well. Um, beyond that, I as a kid had was always wanting to be close to my scrap box so I'm at a a design company that I used to call Conada. It's probably about eight or nine. And Nada had some Nada, which is like Nana, but Nada had some very interesting inventions, which some some of which, some of, some of which rather have come to pass in this world. Those included fingerprinting door locks that open with fingerprints. There was also a very elaborate um, solar powered. Um, 